Well, yeah, partying like Spirit. back then and stuff like that. And some people think, oh, the mob, the mafia, you know, whatever. Everywhere's got the mob and the mafia. So it's not just Brooklyn. It just so happens that a lot of things. Oh, it's more in Brooklyn, but it's it's now a new generation. So it's nice to see like what it was and now what it is today. The one one two two right. three area is so small. Exactly. Yeah. Guys live in that area or, or adjacent? Me, oh, what do you mean? Where do we live in? Yeah. Me and Christy and uh, the two boys, Nick and Chris, that's our zip code. But we hang out there. Christy's house, when we were little, was always like the hanging out house. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're always there. I've always been there. I've always hung out around there. My cousin lives actually a couple blocks away from her. So that's how I met her through my cousin 10 years ago. And. Everybody, that's just where everybody knew each other. I live about five, ten minutes away from her, not even. So, whether you live five, ten minutes or twenty minutes away, a lot of people hang out there. Who's the bartender? Me. Uh, do, do you think sometimes, I mean, you know, there was a time when bartenders were psychologists. Are they still? I mean, listening to people's yeah. troubles, and I mean, if you listen to Billy Joel and, <laughs> and Piano Man, yeah. I mean, <laughs> It, it's 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 literally you're listening to everybody's grief. That's why I started drinking in the day, <laughs> <laughs> because I have to deal with, and it's oh my god they get drunk and they repeat themselves over and over and just she it's always odd. yeah she always tells me she's like oh you want to have a drink I'm like I can't drink during this she's like well I work at a bar so I yeah, have to I have to deal and listen I know everybody's um, life story and I don't know I just I like it kind of. Does it make you feel like your life is a whole lot better than theirs? Yeah, there's always somebody out there who has a worse situation than you do. So. On these shows, people get broken down into stereotypes a lot. The sexy one, the bitchy one. What do you think you guys are? I've, I've been getting a lot of feedback as like, <laughs> wow, you're so funny, you're so real, like, you're so, you never, you hold your ground, like, you're they, the tough kind, I mean, what they don't see really on TV is that I can have that exterior of being tough like and hold my ground on this, but I'm one of the nicest people ever. And I will welcome anybody with open arms, like I'm very friendly and kind of sensitive too. <laughs> I would definitely be the party one. Yeah. When they brought this I'm sorry, when they brought this project to you, what was your first reactions? Hell no. That was my first reaction. That was out. I, because when they came over to me in the restaurant, it's like a lounge restaurant, Cebu, which is actually featured on the show, and um, they came over to me and she was like, hi, I'm from, you know, the casting company or whatever, and I was like, mm, you're trying to do the Jersey Shore in Brooklyn, is exactly what I said to her. And she, I was like, keep it moving. And she's like, uh, you need to put your name on the paper right now. And I was like, <laughs> so I did it just because I didn't think that they were going to really, and then they casted the other girls and the other girls started talking about Joey Lane and then we just, it just, all linked up together, so. so that's like your response to them when you first were approached about it? Well, I didn't know, I wasn't out with them. They were in Bay Ridge, I was at work, and um, they approached her about it, and then the other girls just kept running their mouth about me. Thank you. So, uh, they just, I don't know, they walked into my apartment with a video camera, and then I get a phone call from her, like, what was going on? So. Oh, surprise, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, you were mentioning know. before that not everybody's Italian in there. You do have some Sicilian background, but you also have some Kosovo and, and everything else. Yeah, I'm Albanian. Yeah. Why do you think they chose you? Um, I mean, if you, a lot of people say that if you look at me, you can't really tell that I'm what I am. A lot of people, I get Italian all the time. Like, everybody's like, oh, she's Italian. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, you know what I mean? And just, I think they, I don't know. When you when you have a personality that I guess people yeah. get you know intrigued by, then you're gonna get picked for something. Well, thank you guys. I'm afraid we're out. Thank you so much. I mentioned Billy Joel.